Aquarius, Turquoise and Aquamarine are your colors. And what I'm getting here strongly, before we even go into anything else, is for you to make sure that the colors you're wearing reflect the healing colors that your sign responds to by default, right? Okay, so that's the first thing I got. <laughs> now, let me tell you what we're doing here. <clears throat> this is the first video for January, uh, for, for 2023. This is the January general reading. And we will divide <clears throat> the reading into sections so it's a bit easier to understand. And also it gives you more information. So Aquarians, what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the month ahead before we then look into your emotional core. What that means is we have a look at if there's love coming in, maybe there's trauma that can go, all that kind of stuff. <coughs> before we lastly look at um, opportunities. And opportunities for the most part will be about what sustains you financially. That said, obviously um, money is not a spiritual currency. So it will be about what the opportunities do to you as a spiritual being, if that makes sense, right? Sounds much more complicated than it is. Um, and that's what we're going to do here. Also, there's more change coming. <laughs> I normally um, work with my Native American guides, um, not this month apparently. Um, so I'm not using cards or calling in uh, these guys. <coughs> I am doing, um, I'm using galaxy balls. What they are is they're crystal balls with resin in, and these resin, this, this resin has a shape. Oh, I have shapes. And as I tilt them, they allow me to see galaxies. Therefore, they're, they're much more related to astrology and help me to um, connect better to the star sign I'm reading. And it is my guides um, that suggested I should have different tools every now and then. And these are just the ones that are that I are now have been added to my work. And apparently I'm using them these months. So I have two here, two different galaxy balls, and because I'm not sure which ones I'm using, or maybe the guides say, oh, for this section you use this, I have to literally show them to you, uh, so you're a bit more aware um, how these readings here come about for you. So I have two. Uh, the first one is the this one, which is my dolphin one. Beautiful, eh? <coughs> and this is about perception. So should I be using this guy? to um to do the readings um you should see or hear or assess the readings from the point of view where am i in the scheme of things right so rather than going too deep inside you you kind of go okay hey, where am i right now how does this all relate to my current situation that's how these guys work okay <coughs> And then you, uh, I have the um, the dragon galaxy ball, and the dragon is associated with the element of water, which is renewal um, and purity, but it's also associated with the color gold, which is a conductor and a conduit. Therefore, it is a direct um, boost to actually look into your imprints, right? So be more connected to your star sign. <coughs> the other thing about the dragon is, is that the dragon is the depiction of the North Node and the South Node. And um, so why you're here and what your karma is kind of stuff. And should I be using the dragon galaxy ball <coughs> in the end? Your task is to reflect on everything you hear me say from within, right? What does my inner core really tell me about the information that the guides are giving you? <coughs> that is the difference between these two galaxy balls. And obviously, rather than just giving you the readings, if I tell you that there's more uh, messages to be had when you understand um, how to look at things uh, from that point of view, it is a bit easier, right? So sorry about all the massive information up front. It is what it is. So now we're looking at the overall energy for the month of January 2023 for the sign <coughs> excuse me, of Capricorn. And I'm drawn to the dolphins. 
So Capricorns, the the thing I'm seeing is I see an interesting thing with yours. I see an air bubble right behind the the tail, <laughs> for want of a better word, of the dolphin, which means there is fun that that pushes you forward in January. The overall energy is the more lighthearted you are, the faster you will get through a lot of shit. Right? And so in other in other words, the energy in January for your sign of Capricorn <coughs> is already quite high. You just have to allow yourself to be pushed by that air bubble. Right? Because you outweigh the air bubble by a mile. So the point is you might not necessarily feel all that uplifted, but understand that. Whatever drives you this month, whatever pushes you this month, with, month with, is always depicted by that air bubble. <coughs> Means well. So don't linger on things that you actually know aren't really working. The overall energy is for you to assess stuff and when you feel or should you feel this isn't quite really working anymore, make changes. Right? Be fast, if that makes sense, in Capricorn uh, in, in January without being a dick. <laughs> what I mean by this is, right? Um, so should you be frustrated? Nobody asks you, kind of go like, okay, you know, uh, uh, F you, I'm out. No, I'm off. That's not what I'm getting at all. But understanding that when you, when you are in places where, where energy is just, just draining you, now is the time to say to yourself, I'm not going to do this much longer. And then make changes that get you elsewhere, right? Okay? That's the overall energy for your very sign of Capricorn for the month of January 2023. You are watching Thomas's Tower Reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Moving on to your emotional core for the month of January. When it comes to your emotions, it's very interesting <coughs> because I have a Sagittarius energy, which is obviously not your sign. <coughs> and when I have a Sagittarius energy, what is interesting is this. Ah, uh, okay. There is a constellation called Draco. And uh, the Draco constellation is so large that it spends nine, um, nine signs. Did I say Capricorn? I said Aquarius, didn't I? Who is Aquarius? Yeah, don't mind me. <laughs> Point is, the, the Draco energy is quite pushy, but Aquarius is outside of, of the pushiness. Sagittarius isn't, but Sagittarius needs to give energy to the bow, right? <clears throat> so, it's hard to explain what I'm getting. <clears throat> Let me just try this again. This is about letting go of trauma. A lot of stuff that you have already been through, you don't have to relive because you're outside of it already. And every now and then you feel like there's an arrow just hitting you, right? With all that shit from way back when. And this is not an illusion. This is just the way you have learned to deal with stuff. It's almost like you bury things for a while and then they want out, right? So in your case, with regards to your emotional core this month, allow yourself to see what comes up as thoughts, what comes up as energy, um, and allow yourself to let that go. Okay? And now lastly, <coughs> we will be looking at the... Um, at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of um, January. There is some really high energy going on here because for the life of me, I cannot even remember if this is the one I was using all the time. Right? Obviously, when I upload it, I will probably watch it back. Anyway, it's quite interesting <laughs> that the energy here is quite all over the place all of a sudden. <clears throat> so when it comes to opportunities, what I'm seeing is 
that opportunities are not on the horizon. Opportunities are on the horizon, but on the opposite side of the spectrum. So, how that translates is, should you are in a, in a company, or even when you're self-employed, what you already know is all you need. And at the same time, what you already know is not enough. Nobody is asking you to, 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 to study 25,000 things. But allow yourself to feel and realize that in the new year, 2023, number seven, right? Much higher energy. <laughs> you will have to push yourself to understand more than you ever needed to understand without feeling stupid because you don't know it quite yet. Right? So the energy in January is that you will probably feel at times like, I had no idea about this. <laughs> right? Um, and then, you know, deal with it as it comes uh, and trust that you will you will get it, right? And if it is um, something, something uh, difficult, <coughs> you'll get there. But looking at, and again, it's knowledge that I'm getting. If you feel that there are things in your work, be it self-employed or employed, where you feel like, I, I haven't learned this. Nobody taught me this, right? So should you be in that, in that boat where you feel like, you know, you probably had, had the, the, the short end of the stick. This is the time in January <clears throat> to probably say to someone, um, how come they all had training and I hadn't? And I didn't, right? So go for the things you need to do um, to feel a bit more safe in your uh, environment that sustains, sustains you financially. But it is not the be-all and end-all if you don't. Because what you really, the, the essence of you is enough for whatever it is you do, right? So don't allow anyone to tell you that you're stupid and that you don't and, and understand anything because that's not true either, right? So, yeah. I found that reading Aquarius, and identity speaking, difficult. And I can't quite tell you why, <coughs> but it, but nothing really. The, the the flow wasn't here for this for this video, and what that means is that January, you will you may find it quite difficult to get into a flow of thoughts, right? So then, therefore, right, try to take every day as a new day and do the best you can. Okie dokie Aquarius, thank you so much for watching. Um, please like, subscribe and share and I'll see you all in February. Bye bye.